All right, so this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while, um, but I needed Josh's help because I tried this once before and it was chaos with the babies. But they are all about to go to their new homes pretty soon. And so I wanted to make this video introducing you guys to each kitten now that they're almost 10 weeks old, nine or 10 weeks old, um, and uh, tell you their names and where we got their names from. Um, they are all going to be spayed or neutered with their shots before they get sent off to their new homes because we just want to do the responsible thing and know that they are taken care of before they, um, they go off to their new homes. Um, so first this, <laughs> I wasn't quite ready, but since he was right there playing, this is Jucifer. <laughs> and if you can look at his face, Josh will hold him up. Oh, he looks just like Lucifer. He's got the same fur, he follows me around, that's fine, uh, same fur, he follows me around, he's just an orange version of Lucifer. And there's a band um, called Jucifer, and I just thought, he's an orange Lucifer, so Jucifer was like a kind of a, I don't know, at the time it was really clever, because <laughs> he's like orange juice, Jucifer, so that's why we decided on that, but um, yeah. Um, what was I saying before you grabbed Jucifer? We're gonna, oh, also, um, once they go to their new homes, I'm going to stop posting about the kittens as much on my Facebook page because the Lucifer page was supposed to be for him and then it got into the kittens because, you know, kittens are adorable, but now it's going to go back to post about Lucifer or random cats, um, trying to keep my life more private at the moment we have we have our reasons for wanting privacy <laughs> our animals are also one of them so mm -hmm. i'm not going to announce who we're keeping who we're not keeping or whatever the only thing i'm going to do is introduce everybody right now and explain the names and tell you all that they are going to be spayed and neutered by us before we send them to their new homes so that's that there's another one in front of us this he is so adorable this was the biggest one this is the one that had hurt Lily. That is uh, Cathew. <laughs> and the reason for his name was there was a meme that I had posted that Josh got a big laugh out of. He thought it was like the, the most, the dumbest thing he had ever heard. And he's like, if we ever get another cat, we're going to name him Cathew. Soon after that, we got Lily. And then after we, after we agreed to get her, we were told that she was, oh, she might be pregnant, which she was very pregnant, and she had her babies two weeks later. So we ended up with a chance to name somebody Kathy, which is an adorably punny name. I like puns. Josh likes puns, and he looks like a Kathy. <laughs> but he's an awesome little boy as well. Who's next? Okay, these are the twins. Penny, Pennywise, <laughs> and um, Fruit Stripe. So you might remember Fruit Shut from my earlier videos. That's her on that side. She's got shorter hair, she's lighter, and she's got very clear, stripy designs. Penny, if you look at her face, she has got messed up eyes. Um, Penny! Oops, let me look up. Hey, her eyes don't really match. Um, she always looks really sad and really upset. And she kind of has Bill Skarsgård eyes. When, when you look at her and she's not stressing out or whatever um one eye will look this way and one eye will look this way like her eyes don't match up so and she's she's also copper colored so penny penny wise but penny for short we, we call her penny that fits you see fruit stripes lighter and beautiful swirls and she's always looked like fruit stripe gum to us so we were only calling her that at first to help identify her but um the name just kind of stuck because it just it just really suited her. And this is the other twin, the last kitty cat. This is Cubby Cake. And she is just adorable. She's the kind of kitten that you see, you know, in all the pictures online, the commercials. Yeah, she's she's Jucifer's twin. Um, it's hard to tell them apart. Not completely hard because she's got the cute little face. Um, she's going to be a beautiful, beautiful cat. And we named her Cubby Cake because she's sweet. And we kind of... We do that cutesy ringtone thing where we have the matching <laughs> girly ringtones. 
uh, not girly, lovey ringtones. And um, for a while we had, we don't have it anymore, but we had the Cuppy Cake song. If you don't know it, then look it up. And um, I just thought that was such a cute name for a cute, tiny little thing. It just really suited her because she is, she's just adorable. Everything she does is adorable. Yeah. So um, there's a little, where's she at? A little Cuppy Cake prancing around over there. <laughs> um, now we are going to have Josh grab everybody and attempt to have their booties up to the camera because I, I tried this and I couldn't do it because they were squirmy. But um, it's been mentioned to me in some anonymous comments on my YouTube that uh, I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know how to sex animals and... Um, Orange cats are not usually female, so there's no way I could be right, and there's three and three, and I know I shouldn't let it get to me, but I am really proud of my animal knowledge, not animal, specifically cat knowledge. As Josh will tell you, I know a lot about cats, mm -hmm. and um, I know how to sex them, and I know I was right, and I know it is a very rare litter having 50% male, 50% female. It should have been maybe one female and all the males, possibly two. It was rare enough that she had all oranges and everybody wants them because it turns out everybody likes orange cats. Um, but uh, I just want to double proof <laughs> that I was right. And so Josh is going to try. I don't know if this is going to work because yeah. they are squirmy and they cover their butts with their tails when you pick them up, of course. And just a warning, but Jucifer, uh, his butt is always dirty. We clean him. He's had so many butt baths, mm -hmm. but he... He doesn't stand up and squat to poo. He sits in it. And so he always has poopy on his butt. So if he does at the moment, we haven't looked in at least an hour. Uh, sorry, ahead of time. All right. This is Kathy, as you can see. He is a boy. That's where the little balls are never going to go. <laughs> and this is Jucifer. So turn his little dirty booty around. Yay. All right, boy. Um, in there, there's this little, you can see it's down there, so that's where his little, his little bits are. It's okay. I know they don't like that. Yeah. It's the girls that are more important to sex because, you know, uh -huh. I can't possibly be right about girls, but, um, that's little cuppy cake. So there's Jucifer down there. And cuppy cake. Gotcha, gotcha. You can see. Oh, look at that. That's a girl. Now, I, I, you know they don't like being held up and like it, but it's just a temporary discomfort. It's not abusing them or anything like that for the people like, oh, they don't like that. You shouldn't be holding them that way. Oh, look at her manhandling the kittens and being so rough. No. That, they're fine. As any idiot knows. <laughs> there's Chucky. He's the most obvious boy because he has got the shortest hair. So you turn him around, there's balls right in your face. There's balls right in your face. There you go. <laughs> That's my buddy. That's my buddy. Okay, so we got Cuppy Cake. Now we just need two girls. Two need, twins. We're going to do the names too, right? Yeah. Two twins. Just, uh,. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Look at the two twins. All right, so Penny and Fruit Stripe. That's fruit Stripe first. Yeah. Fruit Stripe. Little girl. What do you know? And Penny? Penny. And Penny. Little girl. What do you know? So there you go. There you have it. Mm -hmm. Raven does know what she's talking about. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is the last time we are going to go out of our way to prove anything to anybody. Um, I think that's enough. Anyway, but uh, yeah, so those are our babies for now while they're still our babies. <laughs> and um, this is uh, Josh's ex-rocker, but they love the chair, so we put a blanket up there to stop them from... <laughs> from um, scratching it up uh, with their little claws. They've discovered the cat tree, which they love. They love all the toys, actually. They play with everything. They're playing with a ball down there and stuff like that. But um, 
Yeah, so by the time they get neutered, they should be about, I'd say around 10 weeks old. So it should be fine. And uh, I'm going to shut off this video now so we can go let the other cats out. We had locked everybody else away so that we wouldn't have too many cats running around while we try to catch the little kittens. And um, we will see you guys next time. Say bye. bye.